Welcome back to my channel guys, I'm Mariam. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review, first impressions, tutorial, two looks actually, plus swatches, of the new Huda Beauty Precious Stones Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. These are brand new palettes that just came out. I was so excited to receive them in the mail. So I wanna try them before you buy them because I wanna give you the scoop and I wanna tell you the truth. Per usual. Let's get to this video. Remember to subscribe, comment down below, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell because it's important, and let's do this. All right, so now we need Lee so we can zoom into this video real quick. Lee! Hit me with that zoom. Okay, so let's get to these Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. This is what the Precious Stones packaging looks like. It's a very cool pentagon shaped, diamond shaped sort of box that opens up like this. On each side of this pentagon box, you have these gorgeous pictures of Huda wearing different eyeshadow looks. And when you open these up, this is actually really, really cool. <laughs> Probably one of the coolest PR packages. I really like how simple yet effective it is. It's not super over the top, but it's memorable. And I think I'm gonna keep this one just because I like this format. It's not too bulky. It's something that keeps the eyeshadows and it's very inspirational as well with all her pictures. So I like it. So obviously these eyeshadow palettes are inspired by different precious stones. So we have Topaz here. Here we got Ruby Obsessions, Amethyst, the purple, Sapphire, the blue, and Emerald, the green. I'm not even into green so much, but this palette is striking. Each of these palettes is $27. I'm not sure if all of them actually come in a set. Although, as I always say, if there is a set like this that's being sent to us influencers, I think it would be nice if it was offered up to regular consumers as well. It would just be an awesome thing. In this video, I'm gonna stick to using two eyeshadow palettes, one on each eye, but it's gonna be the exact same look. But I will swatch the rest of the palettes that I'm not using on my arms, so you guys can have a reference for the colors and textures. So when I showed this collection on Insta stories the other day, I also asked you guys which are the palettes that you're most drawn to, which are the colors that you're most interested in. The top two were Amethyst and Sapphire. So these are the two that I'm gonna be using on my eyes. So I am gonna start by picking up this Amethyst Obsessions using a Jaclyn Hill brush that I do have a review on in another video that you guys should check out. I'm gonna do a soft wash of color. So far the pigmentation on this shade is pretty good. Definitely a lot of color payoff. I'm gonna apply the same color to the bottom with a small dense brush and just connect it to that shade in the outer corner. For this eye, I'm gonna take the corresponding shade from this palette, almost neon sort of green. Doesn't really swatch very nice. I'm not gonna rule it out. I'm gonna take a Morphe brush, M502. Oh no, this eyeshadow is barely visible at all. It's just like a jaundice color. I was so excited about it, but it's super duper dry. And I just keep on dipping my brush into it and really nothing is coming off. I was expecting a lot better pigment, but this is not good. Oh no. Oh no. All right, I think I'm gonna have to pick up another color. I'm gonna go with this teal one and I'm literally gonna place it on top. I'm trying to create basically the same effect that I have on this eye, but on this eye, this blue is a lot better, but to be honest, it's not really that great either. It's a little bit patchy. The color of this blue kind of reminds me of the blue from Natasha Denona's Tropic palette, but the quality is by no means the same. This blue is like a six on a scale of one to 10, whereas Natasha Denona's shadows are all pretty much a 10 out of 10. It is a lot better with a dense brush, but blending wise, it's not the most blendable shadow. Okay, at this point, I'm kind of satisfied with the way that this blue is looking, so I'm gonna move on to this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this darker purple shade, and I'm gonna apply that right directly to the crease. This is looking pretty good. This eyeshadow palette so far is cooperating a lot better than the Sapphire palette. I'm gonna blend these two colors together. Yup, they're blending pretty seamlessly. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of that darker shade to the bottom and connect it again. So I'm actually gonna stay on this eye just because I like the way that this one is coming out and I really wanna be in this mood right now. So now I'm gonna pick up this shimmery shade and with the somewhat stiff brush, I am gonna just place this shade here right under my brow arch. Not something I would typically wear on a brow bone, but it's the lightest color that's available in the palette. I really like it. I really wanna keep it kind of monochromatic. I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. I don't want that super harsh line. Next, I wanna pick up this shade. Feels really smooth and silky. Wow, and I'm gonna begin stamping it to the very center of my lid. This is a really beautiful foil. So now for the outer corner, I am thinking this shade here. I love the fact that it's kind of a vibrant purple, so it's not a blackened shade like we typically like to put in that outer groove. So instead of giving it that dark depth, 
this gives it kind of like a hint of color. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that darker matte and just kind of complete it here. Lining my waterline with this IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. Oh God. I'm gonna rim the entire eye, even though it's so difficult to do, especially while talking. And I'm gonna smudge it out on the bottom using this shade. I'm just gonna add a wing to my top lash line because I feel like it needs it here. I feel like adding just a little bit of liner to the very inner corner because it is Huda Beauty, you know, and she lives in Dubai, so I want to add a little arabesque element to this look. Why? Because why not? Nice. All right, so that eye is looking pretty bejeweled at this point. I'm going to apply the lashes on in a little bit, but first I'm going to finish up this eye. So I'm going to pick up this Sapphire Obsessions palette and hopefully it'll behave a little better. I'm thinking this vibrant blue here, definitely a lot of fallout, but at least there's pigment. I don't know, guys. It's not really looking good for me with this one. And this is not the kind of fallout that you can just brush off. For some reason, it's really sticking to the skin. And it's making my cheekbone just uh, a little bit blue looking. Also, I don't really see a highlight color for this look in this palette. A lot of the colors are just very blue. I wouldn't use this as a highlight color. And this here is just very, very grayish. Might have to borrow this gold from the Topaz palette. Whoa, that is actually a really, really beautiful gold. I like that shade, but we're not talking about this palette right now. We're talking about this one, so... Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we try this shade on my actual lid? That's really pretty, really, really sparkly, and it kind of hides a lot of these mistakes of the previous matte shadows, but that does not excuse those matte shadows because they are not smooth, honey. This blue right here from the center, I'm gonna try to add that to the outer portion, kind of enhancing this whole situation here, but there is a lot of fallout. I'm formulating a rating for this shadow palette. A scale of one to 10, you're gonna have to watch until the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this navy shade here. I'm just stamping it. I'm afraid of blending it because every time I try to blend, it just removes the previous color. Oh boy. So now I'm gonna tight line my waterline and I'm gonna use this teal shade here to set the liner on the bottom of the lash line. And now liner on top once again. I'm gonna add that inner corner extension liner, mascara, lashes, and I'll be back for some swatches of the rest of the palettes. Lily Lashes Miami are on. So now let's swatch the rest of these palettes. Ruby Obsessions, so far so good. That matte's okay. Just a little patchy. Ooh, that's a beaut. And let's do the final one with my thumb. Not bad at all for Ruby Obsessions. This shade and this shade here weren't the best swatches, but the rest are pretty nice. So an eight out of 10 is what I'm gonna give Ruby Obsessions. Now let's do Emerald. Woo, that's beautiful. That matte mint is promising. That green right there, girl. Four down, five more to go. Woo, what, look at these mattes. Now that my friends are some really nice swatches the best quality swatches so far. Lee, you need to borrow your arm. Which arm? Oh. <laughs> Topaz Obsessions swatches. All right, here is the first shade. A little ghost. Watch the numero dos. That's pretty good brown. Very nice. It's starting to hurt. <coughs> My arm. That one's just okay. That's wow. beautiful. That's nice. Oh, that's pretty good, Matt. And last but not least. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty. And here we go. Since we have a whole jewel tone theme here happening, I am gonna whip out my new Fenty Beauty diamond shape PR box because I want to complete this look and I want to use some diamond bomb. I figured this is probably the only way I can actually disguise this dark blue spot underneath my cheek. I literally have to make it a part of my look. Same thing on the other side. Boom. Maybe a little bit on the chesticles. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of diamond milk, also from Fenty Beauty, to my lippies. So here we go. Amethyst palette, I am gonna give this palette an 8.5 out of 10. Emerald palette is going to get a nine out of 10. Topaz is getting an eight out of 10. Ruby Obsessions is also getting an eight out of 10. And the Sapphire Obsessions is sadly and unfortunately getting a 
five out of 10. Only half of the eyeshadow colors were cooperating. The mattes were just not there. They weren't swatching well. Some of them were barely visible on the skin, so. And now that you've made it to the end, I have a little reward for some of you who've made it until the end. Are you guys ready? I bet you're ready. So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to do a spread of the moment kind of giveaway just because I'm inspired right now. So I am going to be giving away three mystery boxes <gasps> up to $500 worth of products in each box. Wow. Here is how you're going to enter. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you're following me on my Instagram, MaryMNYC. Please make sure you are commenting on my next three Instagram posts. It doesn't matter what you comment as long as you include a diamond emoji since we're in diamond theme for this video. That's how I know that you're entering into this giveaway and not just entering a diamond emoji because you're seeing everybody enter a diamond emoji. And the last thing that I'm gonna give you guys is a password. Obsessions. Today's passcode is obsessions. So when I pick my three winners from the three posts, I am going to ask you for the password. I'm only gonna be saying it here on my YouTube channel in this video and no place else. So if you know the password, then you can say it to me and you can claim your prize. Boom, bam, super easy. So subscribe to my channel, like and comment on my next three Instagram posts, a diamond emoji or any comment that you want, as long as it includes a diamond emoji somewhere in there and make sure you know the passcode. Good luck, you guys. I love you all so much. Make sure you check out some of my other videos right here. Click on them. I have so many more reviews like this one and others that you might just like. I actually completely and utterly ran out of time. So this is exactly how I'm going to see crazy rich Asians. Hope nobody judges me. Bye guys.